Hi everyone, this is Carly Hall with Silhouette America, and today we're going to talk about how to create a large image or decal or project when you don't have media that is large enough to accommodate that image in Silhouette Studio. So we're going to start by grabbing our image. And for this, I decided that we would make a cute adventure everywhere sign. And I was thinking that we could use vinyl and put this in a room or, you know, as a wall decal. But obviously, seven inches by six inches isn't going to be big enough for what I had intended it for. So I want it to be about three feet by three feet. And to get a perspective on how big that is, we can go to the, the design page settings and we can change our page to be 36 inches by 36 inches. Obviously, our mat is only 12 by 12, and if we were cutting a roll of vinyl, we'd only have the width available up to 12 inches. But for this, we're going to stretch it out to be as much as we can fill in this 36 by 36 area, since that's how big the area I have on my wall is. What's really neat about Silhouette Studio is you have a whole bunch of different options where you can arrange and align your object. For this, we want to center it to the page, so I just click center the page. You also have different um, align tools and arrange tools that you can play around with. Center middle, so that it also goes to the middle. And you can see that now it's all perfectly centered. Okay, so now that I have my design, I realize, okay, it's going to be really, really hard to size this and figure out where I need to cut it to make sure that I'm taking advantage of all my media and then figure out how to actually prepare those cuts and then have to line them up as well. What's really neat about this is that we're in Silhouette Studio, Business Edition, and the experts have already thought of everything that I am trying to achieve. So if we open the media layout, a lot of Silhouette users don't even know this exists, so we're going to explore it a little bit today. So we're still in the Design Page Settings window, which is where we arranged it to be 36 by 36. So we're going to leave that just how it is. But then if we hover over to the Open Media Layout Settings window, now we're going to be playing around with the media size here. Well, now you can see that we don't want media that's 12 inches by 36 inches wide. Imagine if we had a piece of vinyl, we'd probably have about 12 inches wide by a certain length, or even some people have the vinyl squares that are sold 12 by 12. So I'm going to change mine to 12 by 12 by just highlighting and changing both sizes. And you can see that immediately my page has adjusted to 12 by 12. Okay, so we have our media set up. Well, it still looks like we have our image just kind of plopped on there and we're still going to have to guess where we're going to add those cut lines and that seems like it's going to be a lot of work. So we're not going to do that. We're going to do it the easier way. So we have this really cool panel over here. It's called the tiling window. If we open the, open the tile window and turn on tiling active, Silhouette Studio automatically breaks our image up into tiles based on the size that we instructed our media to be. So you can see that it's 12 by 12 on all these areas. It then takes your tile and translate them, translates them onto the mat so we can cut them. So if we highlight here, this is how we toggle between the views. So if you highlight this and then you zoom in, it'll zoom in on this side. And if you highlight here and zoom in, it'll zoom on this side. So we're going to zoom in a bit and see what's going on here. What's really cool about this is that we're now, our whole image is now cut and fits perfectly onto these different medias. You can also see if you zoom in super close that Silhouette Studio actually added all of our cut lines for us. So you can see that this arrow right here is the same arrow over here. And there's now an additional cut line right where that blue line is. So when we cut this piece, we then can align it and line that straight up to this arrow for a nice, clean, precise line on when we hang our vinyl decal. So now we're ready to cut. We can go over to our cutter and select all the different medias. I don't have my Cameo turned plugged in right now, but we can adjust the cut settings by going to the cut settings and choosing vinyl. You adjust your blade to a blade setting of one, speed of five, and thickness of 10, and then we send it to the silhouette if your silhouette is plugged in. We would load them in each one by one so that they cut, and then what's really neat is after you're done, if you go back over to your tiling window, once you're done cutting tile one, you can turn that tile off. If you want to cut one by one, you can choose which tile you want to cut first. So let's say we want to cut one. You can just highlight one, cut that one, turn it off, cut two, three, 
and so on and so forth until you're down to number nine. Another great tip is that once you're done, you can come over here and take a screenshot of this image and have it for you when you go to hang up your image onto your, onto your whatever wall you want to adhere it to. So I hope that this helps you with those big large scale vinyl projects and paper projects that you're cutting and you need more area than just the 12 by 12 area. The business edition is so helpful for all these different fun um, tools that we have over here and we're going to be exploring some more of those in the future. So I hope you guys tune into our next videos. Thanks so much for watching and I hope you learned something new.